Hello there. Now, in this series of videos, we're going to teach you how to make a very simple yet classic scratch game. And that's what we know as the Mole Smash or Mole Mash, you might know it has. Uh, and you may have seen this game in sort of arcades or fun fairs. The physical game looks a bit like this. But there are also digital versions of that game that look sort of like this. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to make something that looks like a digital version in Scratch. So we're going to keep it simple. And in this video, you'll watch it through. And at the end of it, I want you to create two graphics for me. A hammer or a mallet, whatever you want to call it. We're going to whack with. And also the object that we're going to be whacking. Now, Scratch by default looks a bit like this. And you can see that this is this little square up here, or rectangle shape, not square, um, is of course the, the, the game area. This is where the game is going to run. At the moment, by default, it puts the scratch cat in there. And I don't want a cat there because we're not going to whack cats because that makes some people get quite upset. Beetles, fine, we can smash them. Cockroaches, yeah, smash them. But cats, mm, people get upset about that. So, um, although Tom and Jerry have done it for years, so why people get upset, I don't know. Or did I, I think maybe just getting upset is something I've made up. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I don't want a cat. So, how do I get rid of the cat? Well, down here, there's a little mini version of the cat, and I can press that bin there, and it's gone. So we want two graphics still. And how do we get those graphics? Well, down here, little cat head as well, it says choose a sprite. And I've got four options. I can upload a sprite, which we will come back to. I can get a surprise sprite, which if I click on it, gives me a snowman. It was a surprise. I wasn't expecting a snowman. And the whole point being is that you click on surprise. Oh, look, I've got a, a, ta a what? A takeout? Surely that's a bucket. I don't know who named that one. Takeout is what you get from a Chinese restaurant or something like that, isn't it? Oh, maybe that's what it is. Whew, I'm not convinced. I think it still looks like a bucket. Anyway, that surprised me. Um, or I can paint a graphic. Now, if you want, you can paint a hammer. And it's quite easy to do. What you do is you take a rectangle and you choose your fill colour. Um, I'm going to go with uh, black to start with, and uh, I'm going to draw a rectangle. And look, there it is. That's like the handle of the hammer. And then I'm going to uh, draw another rectangle. I'm going to go with, I want some sort of brown colour. I think. Oh no, look, I've changed the colour of that one. Oh, well, you know what, let's have a brown handle. Doesn't matter. I'm going to draw another rectangle, like so. It's a brown and a brown one. Hmm. Let's change that one to black then. That would work, wouldn't it? So I've got a black. Oh, there we go. I've got these anyway. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that off. To, to, oh, I need to choose this one here. And I can put those together like that. Lovely. And what I can do is I can select both of them like so. And then I can group them together. And now look, I don't move the rectangles around independently. So I can draw a hammer if I want to, but it's really important. Here's a really important bit. If you do decide to draw something, watch this. I'm going to zoom in. See that blue cross? That's the middle of the hammer. Do you notice that target has appeared there? Like a sniper rifle. Well, that's the middle of the sort of, I don't know what to call it, the, the canvas for the hammer? I don't know, but all I do know and this is causes 99% of the problems I get from my own students is the fact that they haven't done the following. If you draw anything, you must make sure that blue cross and that sniper rifle sight are lined up together. So you can draw a hammer like that if you wanted to. That's one way of doing it. Now, let me show you another way that we can do this. We could look and choose a sprite. You look at a library. Hmm, we've got be beetles that would be good for smashing. Hmm, I think I'll drop a beetle in there. Yeah, I'll leave that one there. Um, but are there, were there any hammers there? Let's have a look. So, let's go down, it's alphabetical. Ah, here we are, H's. I've got a hammer. Hmm, not a hammer. Hair, oh, that's it then. There's no, there's no ham, so there's no hammers. Maybe mallet, 
Let's have a quick look a little bit further down. Um, microphones and magic wands. Oh, I could do a magic wand going up and down. No, I, I, we haven't got a hammer, we haven't got a mallet, so we're kind of out of luck in the library here. But you can have a look through for stuff that you might want to use in any games that you build. But if you're out of luck and you're not very good at drawing rectangles, which is a bit of a stretch because everyone can draw a rectangle, but let's say no, you're saying this is not professional, I want professional proper hammers. What you can do is this. If you head to Google, or any search engine of your choice, um, what I've done is I've typed in clip art hammer. Now, this is really important. I'm going to go to tools here, and I'm going to choose where it says color, I'm going to choose transparent. But really importantly, because we want to teach you right from wrong here, kids, where it says usage rights, you must change that to Creative Commons licenses. Now, I'm not going to explain what that means, but what I am going to tell you is this. I'm allowed to use all of these images and it's not a, like a breach of copyright. No one's going to come and arrest you. Well, they're not going to arrest you anyway for stealing a, a picture. From, well, not arrest you, but you can get fined when you're much older. They wouldn't find you as children. But anyway, it's just good practice to make sure that any images that you use are actually Creative Commons, so therefore you're not going to upset anybody. Now, I like this one. Look at that hammer. That's a beauty. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to choose Save Image As. Now I've already set a folder up called Mole Smasher Game. And I have already done this before because at the moment it says Image Processing 20202. I, I just, okay, let's just call it Hammer, which I'd already done because I've saved this already. So I'm going to press Cancel because I've done it, but you would need to press Save. And then back in Scratch, what we have to do is this, upload a sprite. And it says, what do you want to upload? I'm going to choose hammer. And there is my fantastic hammer that's far too large. Hmm, it's far too large. But we're not concerned about that. The size of it doesn't actually matter. So that's your task. I'll put this one over off the edge for the moment. All I want you to do is to create just two graphics for me. I'm going to leave that giant hammer. I'm going to leave. I'm going to get rid of this one here. It's a sprite one. I'm going to bin that one. I like my hammer. I like my beetle. I think that's going to make a good smashing game. I don't like the size of them, but that doesn't matter. All I want you to do is now to fire up Scratch and to make me a hammer and a beetle. But really, 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 really importantly, when you've done that, because I'm not using the web-based version, I'm using the offline version. So if you're using the offline version, you must do File, Save to your computer. I made a folder called Mole Smash again. So I'm going to call this Beetle Smash. I wasn't sure I should have called it. I should have got a mole, really, but... There we go, we ended up with a beetle instead, it doesn't really matter. But one thing I do know is that my Scratch game is saved in my Mole Smasher game folder, so I can find it in the future. Anyway, I'm going to save it. That's all there is from me. You can stop this rather long video, but go and get yourself two graphics. You can draw them, you can get them from the internet, I don't mind how you do it, but get me a hammer and an animal that you're ready for doing some whacking on.